Hi everyone, welcome back. Today's topic is regarding error handling in XLOOKUP function. While using the XLOOKUP function, we may get two kind of error. The first is the not available error and the second is the spill error. We will learn the cause of the error and how to handle these errors. First of all, let's understand the data. Here in the first table, there is a purchase quantity detail of different electronic products. The product name is in the column and the purchase invoice number is in the row. In this second table, I need to fill the information of the quantity for different items given here and for the different purchase invoice numbers given here. In this case, the item name position and the purchase number position differs with the source table. So in this case, we have to use the double X lookup because we need two dimensional lookup. We need to look up in the column and row both. So here, let me use the X lookup by pressing is equal to then type X lookup. Open the bracket. In the lookup value, click on the item name. Now lock the column I because when we copy this formula to write, this column should remain constant. So to lock the column only, press the F4 key three times in the keyboard, which applies the dollar symbol before column I, then give a comma. In the lookup array, select the item name range of the source table. Then lock this whole range by pressing the F4 key one time, then give a comma. Now in the return array, we have to repeat the XLOOKUP function. So type XLOOKUP again, then open the bracket. In the lookup value of the second X lookup, click on the invoice number. Then we have to lock the row number 4 because when this formula will be copied down, this row should remain constant. And to lock the row only, press the F4 key two times. Then give a comma. In the lookup array, click on the invoice number range of the source table. Then press F4 key to lock this range. Then give a comma. In the return array, select the quantity sold range. Then lock this whole range by pressing the F4 key one time. Then close the bracket. Close one more bracket for the first X lookup. Then press enter. Now the result for television in the purchase invoice number one is given as 38, which is taken from this cell. Here you see for television for the purchase number one, it is 38 unit. Now you can use the fill handle to fill this formula till the last column. Again, click on the fill handle, then fill the formula till the last row. Now here, after using the formula, the not available error is given. This not available error happens because of two cause. The first cause is this lookup value is not found in the source table. Here the sales of fan and Bluetooth speaker is not available here in the first table. That is why the NA error is given by XLOOKUP function. But here in case of heater, the error is given even if there is heater in the source table. This happened because of the typo. The typo means the typographical error. Here in this heater, if you check there is a extra space before the old heater that is why here the na error is given i will tell you how to remove this error in this situation later but before this let's look into how to remove the na error in these two rows the process of removing the na error is called error handling we can handle this error by different methods if you want to display a blank cell in case of the error, then double click on the formula. Then click at the end of the second X lookup. Then give a comma. And here you have a parameter in X lookup function that is the if not found parameter. So here in the if not found parameter to display the blank cell in case of the error values, type double quotations two times. Now press enter. Now this will replace the NA error with the blank cell. Now use the fill handle to fill the formula to right and down. And here fill this formula till this product only because for heater there is a different type of error. Now the cell is filled with blank. 
if you want to display zero here instead of blank then you can double click on the formula then put zero between these double quotations this way then press enter again use the fill handle to fill the formula and here you see when there is n a error it is replaced with zero if you want to replace the n a error with something else or if you want to write some text then you can write the text as well here let me double click then between the double quotations i am going to write not found then not found will be displayed in case there is error here you see when there is error not found is given you can also include some formula in case of error suppose that here in the sheet number 1 you have more information on the item and purchase invoice number if the fan and the bluetooth speaker is not found here in this table in that case if you want to see in the second table you can use the formula in the if not found parameter so let me double click on this then here in the if not found parameter of the formula you can use another x lookup to see the result here in the second sheet so in this case here in the if not found repeat the x lookup function again open the bracket in the lookup value click on the item name then lock the column by pressing f4 key three times comma in the lookup array go to the sheet number 1 then select this item name range press f4 key to lock this range give a comma in the return array now use another x lookup again then open the bracket in the lookup value of the second x lookup click on this invoice number then lock the row by pressing f4 key two times comma in the lookup array go to the sheet number 1 then select this invoice number range then press f4 key to lock it then give a comma in the return array now select this quantity range then close the x lookup by giving two brackets then press enter now use the fill handle to drag this formula till the last invoice number again drag the formula down here the result for bluetooth speaker is given as zero because there might be some error in the formula i think here i forgot to lock this range in the return array that is why the zeros is given here so here lock this return array range by pressing the f4 key here then press enter now drag the formula till the last invoice drag the formula till bluetooth speaker and here you see now the result is calculated when the fan and bluetooth speaker is not found in this table then the formula checked it here in the second table and return the result so in this way you can also combine the another formula to replace or handle the error message now here in case of heater there was a typo error there was one extra space before this heater here that is why this na error is given in this case you can use the trim function to remove the extra spaces to remove the extra space double click on the formula now before this lookup array for the item names use the trim function to remove the extra space so here use trim function then open the bracket then click here after the a11 range then close the trim function now press enter now if you drag this formula down here you see the result for heater is now calculated again select this and drag it till the last invoice and here the trim function has removed the extra space from heater and the result is calculated here so this is the way of handling the not available error in x lookup function now let's look into another error type that is the spill error for that let me go here in the example number 2 and here i have the same example i have the item name here and the purchase invoice number here in this sheet number 3 i need to display the quantity from this table for the television mixer grinder and washing machine 
and here I am going to use the single X lookup, assuming that I need the same flow of the column here too. So in this case, I can use the single X lookup. So here in the cell, press is equal to type the X lookup on the bracket. In the lookup value, click on the item name, comma. In the lookup array, go to the example number two sheet, then select this item range. Lock this range by pressing F4 key, comma. In the return array, select this quantity purchase range. Lock this range by pressing F4 key, then close the bracket. Now press enter. Now here I got the spill error. This spill error is happened because the XLOOKUP function wants to fill the result till the O column. Here you can see a dotted line is given. It means that the XLOOKUP is trying to populate the result till column O. But here in between the result range, there is a another data. That is why this spill error is happened. So in this case, to eliminate this spill error, we have to make a space here to display the result. We have to take this data in different location. Then the spill error will be removed. Suppose that here if I insert some columns, still there is spill error because it wants to spill till O column. So here let me insert more columns. Now here you see the XLOOKUP function has displayed the result. You can drag this down for other items. So here the spill error is removed. So this is all about the type of error we face while using the XLOOKUP function and the methods of handling the error. And this much for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. We will again meet on next video tutorial.